Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Paralegal Certificate Course Informational Webinar from CLS by Barbary. We'll get started here in just a minute to allow time for everyone to join us. Our webinar today will get started with a presentation from Stephanie Elio from CLS. And following that, we'll be here for about 10 minutes to answer your questions live. So be sure to put your questions as you have them in the Q&A feature, but we may answer them along the way, so feel free to wait until the end. And either one of our enrollment counselors working in the background here will answer you directly. We'll address it during the live Q&A if we have time. And if we don't get to your question, don't worry, we'll give you all of our contact information for you to reach out to us after the webinar. So with that, I'm gonna introduce Stephanie from CLS who will get our presentation started today. Take it away, Stephanie. Thanks, Emily. And welcome to all of you. We're happy you took time out of your day to join us and learn about the paralegal certificate. Let's take a quick look at the agenda so that you've got an idea of what we're going to cover today. A few ground rules before we get started. As Emily mentioned, we do have some enrollment counselors working in the background, and they're here to help answer questions. I'm going to cover probably 99% of your questions in this presentation. If you do decide to use the chat to submit one of your questions, be kind. Make the question relevant, and they will try to get to you as quickly as possible. Um, people that put in things that are not relevant um, may be asked to leave, and we hate to do that. So we're going to talk a little bit about who Barbary is, who CLS is, the 100% online learning formats and other formats and ways that you can take this course, um, which formats right for you. That's good thing to be able to know how we deliver so that we can find the right fit for you. Um, we will also take a look at the grading and time commitments, student satisfaction. We've taken some recent alumni polls. I'm really excited to share some of that feedback with you. We'll look at the course itself, what those outcomes are, the skills that you obtain by participating in this program. We'll talk about advanced coursework, digital badges, what the career outlook actually looks like um, and up and coming areas of focus. The enrollment process, how to actually get your textbooks, what the tuition price is, how we work with college and university partners, all of those things. And then we've got that live Q&A at the tail end of the presentation. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So CLS by Barbary is the leading continuing legal education company in the country. We were actually founded in 1980, and we are very proud to be part of Barbary Global. Barbary is the world leader in legal education, distance learning, and training and certifications. Barbary, one of the big things that they do is help law school graduates sit and prepare for their bar exams. So if you're looking to change careers or get into this industry or looking for a promotion, and that's why you're interested in taking this course, the attorney that you're likely to be working under has definitely heard of Barbary, may have very well used them themselves. So it's great for us, even though CLS has been around for 43 years, um, in the last four or five years that we've been with Barbary, all that does is make us better and bring us better resources to be able to better serve you. Some of the reasons to enroll in this course are the same as they've always been. We work very hard to ensure that our courses and training are the most affordable, flexible, credible, that you can find, and they are taught by experienced professionals in the field. So the folks that teach our paralegal certificate course, they are practicing attorneys. They are very high ranking paralegals that have a minimum of 10 years experience in the field with teaching experience on top of that. And they're current. Their knowledge is up to date. And with the courses that we're gonna talk about, the formats, that we're gonna talk about in a few moments, you're gonna see how you can facilitate um, communication with those instructors. We've got a lot of courses beyond the paralegal certificate that is far and wide our most popular course that you're here to learn about today. But we also have um, quite a few others 
We do advanced coursework, which we'll touch on today. We have a legal secretary course if you're not quite ready to dive into paralegal. We do software central training, victim advocacy, um, e-discovery. There's an entire catalog of coursework in addition to legal nurse consultant, legal investigation, et cetera. That entire catalog is located on our website at www.legalstudies.com. And if you haven't already done so, I absolutely encourage you to take a look at it. Regardless of which course you're interested in, all of our curriculum is constantly updated to remain on pace with the current industry. So when you come to CLS, you will get up-to-date training and it is designed for you to take upon completion and go right into the field and put it to use. Let's talk about the 100% online learning formats. Our traditional online format is as I mentioned before, the most popular format that we have. We have six sessions per year. A new class starts every eight weeks. The next one actually starts right around the corner, August 22nd. So our online, traditional online format is the entire paralegal certificate course. It is a 14 week time frame, and it's delivered in two seven week sessions. So if you go to look at that on our website, you'll note that it shows six different start dates that you can choose. It'll actually show the start date for each half of the course, but know that the total completion time is 14 weeks. It is an environment in which you would have a dedicated instructor and classmates. Do not underestimate the benefit of having classmates. It's not, it's about as close as you can get to sitting in your own home or your office or in a park or a library or wherever you want to be with that flexibility, but having the connectivity to be able to participate in the discussion boards, the forums, having the tools to communicate directly with an instructor but the flexibility to be wherever you need to be and to access the course at whatever time works best for you. One of the benefits of the traditional online format is that you have 24 seven accessibility into the online platform where the course is delivered. That is all on the learning management system or LMS for those of you who have taken online courses before is called Moodle. Once you're a registered student, we actually give you access to that. It's held on our servers. So you don't need any special software or programs. All you need is internet access. We give you a username and password the day class begins. You have 24 seven access throughout the entirety of that 14 weeks. You can log on at five o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the afternoon, 7 p.m. It really doesn't make any difference at all. The instructor would post what your written and reading assignments are on Monday morning. Deadlines are typically Sunday night. There are tools there, like I said, to communicate with classmates, to communicate with instructors. You can use the email tools. You can set up appointments with your instructor. And some of those teachers also have Zoom meetings where everybody can come together in a group for discussions. Lots of different opportunities for you to stay connected, but still do things on a schedule that works for you. Let's take a look at the next format in contrast to that traditional online, and that is our online flex format. The biggest difference between traditional online and the flex is really going to be timing. With the traditional online, we have six start dates per year. Everyone that's enrolled in those courses starts on the same day. The flex format, you can start any day. You could start tomorrow. You could start next week. Um, that is a class where you are basically an independent study student and you still have a dedicated instructor, but you would not have classmates. You're going to do the same assignments, pay the same tuition. Students, rather than complete in 14 weeks, would be given a six-month timeline. 
that clock starts ticking the day you register and you have six months to complete your coursework. You work entirely at your own pace. If you have already looked on our website and you've seen that Paralegal is broken into Paralegal 1 and Paralegal 2, those are the two seven-week sessions that make up the 14-week training. With the flex format in that six-month time frame, you would complete both Paralegal 1 and Paralegal 2. An example would be, um, let's say you decide to do flex. You're starting off and you finish Paralegal 1 in three months. You've got three months left to do the second half, Paralegal 2. If you finish Paralegal 1 in two months, you've got four months to complete, vice versa. Um, if you complete, if you take five months to complete the first half, you've only got one month to get the second half done. So if you choose to take the independent study flex format, you are responsible for managing your time. If you choose the online standard, you've got weekly assignments. You're kept on track, you finish on time, and you're ready to go at the end of the 14-week course. Live lecture format is also available, and we do have classes coming up in September. Pre-COVID times, we actually did live lectures on college campuses all over the country where the instructor was in the classroom, students were in the classroom, and typically those classes were held Saturdays and Sundays from like nine to five for six weeks in a row. Today, um, we are maintaining the pivot that we had to do when COVID hit. You know, all the college campuses closed. No one was on them. We had to do something different. So we actually took that live class with the live instructor and moved it over to a Zoom classroom. It was incredibly successful. It enabled more of our students throughout the country to be in the live format without having to go to the college campus. And because of its success, we've decided to keep it, even though campuses have reopened. The next ones are occurring, like I said, in September. And we do have multiple classes for live that are scheduled. They are for each time zone. So there is a Pacific time zone class, a mountain time, a central time, east coast. And um, depending on where you live, you can certainly join one of those. What you need to remember, if that is your choice, if you want that connectivity in, with the instructor and be able to look at classmates, like you're looking at me right now on the screen, then you need to keep in mind that there is a strict schedule for that. Each one of those different time zone classes has got different start days and different times in which you need to be present but there is an 80% presence rule, attendance rule. So you do need to be sitting in front of your screen. You need to be present and you need to participate. Um, and just like you would be show, having regular attendance in a classroom. But you can have that classroom experience and save the gas. So that might be an option for you. So to recap very quickly, we have the standard online delivered in two seven week sessions done in 14 weeks with 24 seven flexibility, but you still got the guidance and the weekly assignments to ensure you're gonna finish on time. Got the flex format for independent study, six months, clock ticks from the day you register. And then finally this live lecture format in which you would be sitting in front of your computer, you're in a Zoom classroom and you would be done in eight to 12 weeks. Regardless, tuition, textbooks, all the same. Quality and background of the instructor is going to be the same. The only difference is really the delivery method. We have a chart like this on our website. If you've ever spoken with any of our enrollment counselors, communicated via email with them, they can certainly send you this chart. It literally takes each format and just does a quick comparison for you on the availability of you know, what is in that particular format that may appeal to you most. We want you to choose the format that is going to be the best fit for you. Grading and time commitments. At CLS, 
we have a rule that has been in place since the beginning of time here. And that is every student in every course must have a 70% or better minimum passing score on every assignment that you ever do. There is no cumulative grading at CLS. We're here to help you to be successful. Our job is to ensure that you are well-trained when you finish your certificate and you're ready to go out in the world and do that job, perform those skills. It is not okay to be good at some and not at others. We want you to be successful and competent in all the skills that we're training. Therefore, there is no cumulative. We're not grading on a curve. We're not averaging your scores. 70% or better on every test, every quiz, every assignment that you do. Now, first question might come to your mind, what happens if I don't pass a test, if I don't pass a quiz? It's not the end of your world. You're not going to fail out of the program. We want you to be successful. If you do not get a minimum score of 70 on an assignment, you're going to redo it. You're going to communicate with the instructor. You're going to find out where you took a wrong turn, what may have not been as clear as it needed to be. You're going to have an opportunity to redo that test, redo that quiz, and earn the proficiency that you need to proceed. Our instructor's purpose is there to help you. And we will do everything in our power to do that and stand by our word. All courses are designed for busy adult learners. Students should expect to spend about 8 to 12 hours per week on their coursework. That's going to include the reading time, the online time, and the assignment time. And it's kind of a little wide range there. Um, whether or not you are on the low end of that or the high end, I really can't tell you. But I can give you a little measure. There's a lot of reading in our programs. If you want to be a paralegal, you need to enjoy reading and research. There's a lot of it. So with this, your particular, there's some things that you want to kind of take into account. Your particular study habits, your time management skills, and your reading comprehension. If you're the type of person that can read things on a first run and comprehend them well and retain and be able to spit them back out quickly in your own words, you're definitely going to be on the low end. If those kind of tasks take you longer, if you are the type of person that needs to read things multiple times, you may be on the long end, 12 plus hours. If you're spending more than 15 and pushing to 20 hours a week, I'm going to let you know now you probably have taken a wrong turn. There's probably um, something that honestly you may be overthinking. And I encourage you, if you get registered and you're taking the course and you're finding yourself spending that much time, you need to reach out to your instructor for some clarity and just kind of get back on the right path. When I say it's designed for busy adult students, it really is. And this is doable for folks that have full-time jobs, you know, kids underfoot, spouses, aging parents, whatever is going on in your life. This is something that you can manage to schedule in alongside it and accomplish your goals and proceed on to the next chapter of your life. We do provide ongoing administrative and technical support to all of our students. So not only our, our instructors here to assist you, but our support staff as well. We often poll our alumni to get a feel and make sure that we're still on the right path and providing what our students need. The last poll was pretty awesome. You know, it's always great to hear that we're doing a good job. If we're not, we, we want to know, but when students tell us we are, it's just, it's very satisfying to know that we are providing what helps our students to secure new jobs and promotions. The last survey, 95% of our students had said that our courses are more flexible than other programs out there. 
they are concurring with our statements that the skills taught are on pace with the current industry. They would recommend this course to their friends and they would return to take more coursework. So we are always proud of our graduates and our students. We encourage them to provide feedback to us. And the latest round has been wonderful and I am very pleased to share it with you. To see additional testimonials, you can see those directly on our website. We also use a bit of social media. Our Facebook has reviews page and we do not scrub any. So, I mean, can you please 100% of the people 100% of the time? No. I will go so far as to say um, one thing when you're reading reviews, understand the context. Ethics are something that we take incredibly seriously here um, at CLS. So everyone is required to do their own work. You need to be able to put things in your own words. We are preparing you to work in the real world, which means that you need to be able to cite sources and all of those kind of things. So feel free to um, call our enrollment counselors. They can talk you through anything that you want to find, any questions you may have. They are available from 9 a.m. or I'm sorry, earlier than that. They get up early, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. And we'll have contact information for them at the end of this presentation. Let's talk about the actual content in the paralegal certificate course. A little overview of that. You know, you can find a syllabus for not only this course, but every single course we offer directly on our website. We post those publicly because we want to be transparent. We want you to know what we're going to teach you before you register. So included in the learning objectives for the paralegal certificate include legal research and writing, civil procedure, ethics, as I mentioned, taken very, very seriously here at CLS, and they are a component of every course that we teach, legal citation, evidence, torts, contracts, all included in that paralegal certificate course that we're considering, whether you've already registered or you're considering registering very soon, those are some of the highlight skills included in that program. You can see it complete by viewing that syllabus. And then toward the end, if you don't know how to navigate it to it, Emily's gonna reiterate that for us at the tail end. Within the paralegal certificate course, you know, there are recorded video lectures. So again, I wanna remind you all, you're not required to be sitting in front of your computer at any specific time for the online or the online flex. Those video lectures are available to you 24 seven. Formative assessments, those are, are kind of like puzzles and flashcard games that you can do as many times as you want to, to help you retain the information and gain clarity. You get immediate feedback and you're able to take them as many times as you want. There is no cap on how many times you can access those additional tools before or after you take a quiz, anytime during your course for that matter. After the paralegal certificate, we have um, additional courses. One that would interest a great number of our paralegal students is our advanced paralegal program. The advanced paralegal certificate is comprised of 16 specialty topics of law. Um, individual topics provide the fundamental skills you will need not only to succeed, but soar in today's world of paralegal professionals. It's gonna help you be more marketable. The more knowledge you have, the more value you bring to the table, the more hireable you are. So each and every one of these topics, they are only available in the online, standard online format. Each one is a seven week class and every single topic is available every term. 
If you recall from the beginning, I had mentioned we have six online sessions per year. The next one coming up is right around the corner, August 22. And every single one of these will be available. There is a prerequisite that you have completed your paralegal certificate first. So if you have already done that, you're interested in taking advanced coursework, these are all available to you. You would earn an advanced certificate upon completing six. Let's go ahead and click on to the next screen. There we go. So six topics to earn an advanced certificate. And if you happen to reside in the state of California, you are in the only state that has actual legislated regulations for the number of hours of training that you must have. All that falls under the California Business and Professions Code 6450, which dictates those number of hours, and it's going to be 24 semester units of substantive legal training. Our courses do qualify for substantive legal training, and the combination of the paralegal certificate and the advanced paralegal certificate does put a student in compliance with that code and ready to go to work in California as a paralegal. Anywhere else in the country, you are qualified to work as a paralegal with the first program, but by taking some of those additional topics, you will be more qualified. Get your leg up on other applicants in for that job. That's, and you will also earn a digital badge. So in order to earn the certificate for advanced, you would need all six. But if you're taking topics one at a time, for instance, you just want to take victim advocacy or e-discovery or alternative dispute resolution, advanced legal research, you can take them one, two, three. Each time you complete an advanced topic, you will be issued a digital badge. Badges are really easy and secure. Once you complete the course, they will be e you would be emailed instructions on how to claim your badge. From there, the badges can be shared and verified online on the Credly Worldwide Network, personal and professional social media profiles, websites, and more. Badges offer professionals that are seeking employment an additional way to market their skills-based training and tell their story in a very professional way that is complete and validated. So it's not just going to be the certificate of completion, but this badge is going to be, once you click on it, you can drill down. It'll still say you completed XYZ course on XYZ date, but it's also going to show the skills that you have obtained and represent the achievements that are valued and recognized by today's employer. In addition to that, there is also employment information in those badges, so it can help you in that realm as well. As far as the career outlook, paralegals work everywhere. Everybody knows they work in law firms. That's a given. They also work in insurance companies. Every corporation has got a legal department. They hire paralegals. The banking industry, state and government agencies, um, state and federal. There are a lot of opportunities. Private owners, entrepreneurs that want to start their own business. People that own any other kind of business that want to avoid some legal fees and just do some legal doc prep themselves. Paralegal certificate is going to help them to do that. You can also be a freelance paralegal and work from home. Even though the world is changing again and more people are out there and working back in office environments, there are those that would really prefer to stay home. Um, and there are work from home opportunities. So if working from home and being a virtual paralegal, uh, freelance, independent paralegal is something that interests you, I would encourage you while you're taking your course to communicate with your instructor about your desire 
to work as an independent, but also pay particular attention during the course because they will teach you exactly what a paralegal can and cannot do or without the supervision of an attorney. And those are going to be very key points in the course that you want to make sure you understand and retain well. Earning potential, still a hot place to be. The earning potential based on the U.S. Department of Labor's um, statistics are 12% growth between now and 2030, a lot faster than the national average in other industries. Median salary is 56, 230 plus benefits. This is a job that typically includes uh, medical, dental, um, Sometimes a lot of overtime can be earned there too. Median salary, keep in mind that that doesn't mean it's going to be exactly that where you are. It could be less, but it's going to be based more on cost of living. If you live in rural America, it may be a little less because the cost of living is lower. But if you're in LA, New York, considerably higher as it does cost much more there. How to enroll. CLS works with more than 150 co accredited college and universities. This is a sampling of some of the school partners that we work with. We have got schools from coast to coast. Every single one of them is an accredited institution. Our courses are offered through continuing and professional education. They are non-credit courses. Basically, that means you're not getting credits to add up toward a degree. This is continuing in professional education. It is job skills training. So you are not earning transferable college credit. You are preparing to gain skills to go to work in the real world to increase your earning potential. Students that complete this course go straight out, look for jobs, secure those jobs, go to work. So what kind of investment are we looking at? Tuition, regardless of format, whether it's online, standard online, the flex or the live lecture is $18.95. Required textbooks, there are six of them. It's the same books required regardless of format. They're gonna run right about $400. We do have a full service bookstore on our website. You can put those books in a bundle into your shopping cart. You can go directly to the bookstore and order them one at a time, but I wouldn't do that. That's just going to be more shipping and handling. It's a lot better doing a bundle. We work very hard to ensure that we can get you the best pricing available. If you want to shop them out, that's okay. Um, we do actually publish the ISBN number for every single book on our website. So if you want to look for them elsewhere, I strongly encourage you to match up that ISBN number because if you do buy it somewhere else, we want to make sure that you're going to get the right book and the right edition. If you purchase them through us, we're going to be able to guarantee that you do. The other item that you'll need is Westlaw. Westlaw is access to the online law library system because you will be using real tools to learn real skills and do professional legal research, big part of a paralegal skill set. Um, $89 will provide you with the adequate access you need to complete the second half of the paralegal training. If you are a flex student, you would let us know when you're ready to start the second half of the course and we'll issue your Westlaw then. If you're a standard student, you need Westlaw in the second seven weeks. And if you're live, you would need it through the entirety of that live eight to 12 week period. We do have many payment options available at CLS. We do work with a firm and PayPal. Through those programs with our outside vendors, you can take the entire lump sum, tuition, books, break it down into between three and 18 month payment plans. Um, you can certainly check out with a credit card. 
And if you want more information about payment plans, you can also reach out to our enrollment counselors. We've got some discounts for you today. Because we have this online standard paralegal certificate starting on August 22nd, which is three weeks, less than three weeks away. Currently, there is an online 10 discount code available for checkout that will give you 10% off the online course. If your preference is to be in the September live class, one of those specific time zone classes where you need to be in front of your computer and it's on a very set schedule, you can use Live 10 and also receive 10% off of your tuition at checkout on our website at www.legalstudies.com. This is a limited time offer and it will expire on August 22nd at midnight. This offer is not eligible to be used for our flex format. The six month work at your own pace. That is still standard 1895 tuition. But the 10% discount is available for the online class. One thing I did not mention that I want to take a moment to now, that standard online class, we are offering that nationwide through all of our partner schools. That doesn't mean you end up in this massive class of thousands of students. We actually cap our classes out. 35 students, roughly 35 to 40 for each instructor. So the student teacher ratio is really small. Doesn't mean that we're gonna cap out and not have room for you. We absolutely will. Once we fill a class, we simply open another and another and another. So we would love to have you join us. Um, encourage you to register. If you have any additional questions, we're gonna do a quick Q&A here for a few minutes. And then um, we will give you the information to reach out to our enrollment counselors if you require any additional assistance. All right, Stephanie, let's get into some questions here. Um, again, please put them in the Q&A and we'll either respond directly or live or we'll respond to you afterwards. You can always reach out to us via phone, email, and we even have chat live on legalstudies.com. First question I want to clarify, Stephanie, can you talk about the prerequisites needed for both the paralegal certificate course and the advanced paralegal certificate course? Sure. Prerequisite for the paralegal certificate, our standard core paralegal certificate is going to be a high school diploma or a GED. That does not mean we expect you to go dig up your high school diploma and show us a copy of it. We say that because this course is taught on a college level. It's not fluffy. You need to come to the table with college level reading and writing skills because again, we want you to be successful. So 18 years of age and college level reading and writing skills for paralegal. The advanced paralegal is just that. It is an advanced program, which means it's going to require that you have a base of knowledge in the paralegal certificate before you go on to take advanced coursework. So if you are taking the advanced program, you need to either have earned our paralegal certificate, earned a paralegal certificate at some other program that you will need to show us documentation for, or have worked in the capacity of a paralegal for a minimum of two years. If you have any of those three, then you would send an email to our enrollment counselors. If it was our program you took, we've already got a file for you and we know that you took and completed the program. But if you have not, you've taken it somewhere else, simply reach out to our enrollment counselors, send them an email, call on the phone, and we will go through the process to get permission to have that prereq waived for you if you in fact qualify. Otherwise, it's, it's just in your best interest to start with the core training and then move on to advanced. Great, thank you, Stephanie. 
Next question we have, I want to show a little navigation on our website. So a lot of questions about finding the right partner school or wanting to see what schools offer formats, especially the live lecture based on your time zone. The best way to find that for you is just go to legalstudies.com. Right on our homepage in that top section, you'll see a find a course kind of a quiz where you can select the course, in this case, paralegal certificate course. And then from there, you can either drill down by the format. So if you are very specifically interested in say live lecture, you can select that and then click find courses. It'll show you all of the courses available, all the schools that offer that course in live lecture. Um, if you're not as particular about a format, you can select by state and see what um, schools in your area offer the program. Um, lots of ways to search there, depending on if you want to drill down by format, or even if you want to look at a specific school. Say you know a name of a school that uh, maybe you went to before, you can choose a different school, doesn't matter. You can go to About CLS at the top of the page and select Partner Schools and see a list of all of the schools that CLS works with. Now, not every school offers every format. Um, but you can find what you're looking for there. So a lot of ways to look for the course um, that you're interested in and where you want to take it. And while I'm pointing out some stuff on the website, Stephanie mentioned earlier that we post all of the syllabus for every single course. So also under that About CLS tab on the top of legalstudies.com, you will see a link right above Partner Schools called Syllabi. And there you can click on the syllabus for not, every, not only every single course we offer, but every single format as well. So you can see how those courses are laid out by format. Stephanie, the next question I wanna cover is, can you reiterate how long each format takes? Sure. The standard online format is a 14 week training delivered in two seven week sessions. We offer six start dates per year. The next one is August 22nd. And if you joined that August 22 standard online class, you're going to be all done with the program by December 2nd. The flex format is you have six months to complete the training and that clock starts ticking the day you register. So as soon as you decide to pay your tuition, we grant you access within 24 or 48 hours, get your book shipped to you and away you go. The live hybrid, live Zoom classes, those are dependent on which time zone class, but most of them are between eight and 12 weeks. And the times may vary. They may be Tuesday and Thursday evenings and part of Saturday. Um, couple might be weekends. You need to check the schedule on our website. Great. Thank you, Stephanie. And we do have some questions about if we'll be sending out a recording of this webinar. We will be doing that. That will be sent out by tomorrow. So that will be in your email inbox. And we'll be sure to include in that a link to that format breakdown chart so you can see the differences between each format available. Let's see, I think we might have time for one more question. Um, oh, I think probably the next most popular question was um, just access to teachers. If they need additional help, what is the best way to get in contact with the teacher? Is it through the portal? Is it through an email? How will they be able to talk to an instructor regardless of their format? There actually is an email tool in the portal. So in the Moodle system, our learning management system where your course is delivered, there are email tools for you to communicate with the instructor. When a class starts, um, the instructors will typically let everyone in their class know what their standard office hours may be. And you know, just like an instructor, a professor on a campus, they're gonna have regular office hours. Keep in mind, I mentioned that our instructors are working professionals. They have jobs just like you. So they're not going to be available 24 seven to you. Your best plan would be to email them and have them you know, be able to respond to you that way through that email system or in the email, ask for a specific appointment and make an appointment, attend to that appointment and get that one-on-one -on -one time that you might be seeking.
But most of your communication with your instructor would take place via email. Great, thank you, Stephanie. So with that, we're gonna close out the webinar here. Thank you to everyone for attending today. Lots of great questions. If you have any more and we do not get to them, please do not hesitate to reach out to us via our website. Um, you can email us, call us. We also have chat during business hours live on legalstudies.com. Like I said, we will be sending out a recording of this webinar tomorrow if you would like to watch it back. And as Stephanie mentioned, our next traditional online course begins on Monday, August 22nd. We also always have online flex where you can enroll today and start tomorrow and work at your own pace. Or if you want that more interactivity, you can enroll in our September live lecture format of this course. And be sure to take advantage of those savings, those discount codes. Those will be in the email tomorrow as well as a reminder. You can save 10% off either the traditional online course or the live lecture format. We hope you all have a great day and a special thank you to Stephanie for your time today. And thanks to you, Emily, and all of you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you in class. Have a great day.